Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you how to run a Python script using PHP. So first what we want to do is make sure we have a server running PHP. If you've been following my videos, I've shown you how to create a Debian server and how to install Apache and PHP. So I've already navigated to the IP address for this Debian server. And now what we're going to do is connect to the Debian server using our terminal. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal now. Now what we need to do is connect to the server using SSH. So we'll say SSH, your username on the server, at, and then the IP or host name of this server. Okay, now that we've connected to the server, let's go ahead and elevate our privileges to root by typing SU and hit enter. Go ahead and enter your password there. Okay, now we are root. So now we can navigate to where our web files are hosted. So let's go ahead and say CD space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash HTML. Hit enter. Let's type ls to list any files within this directory. So we see this index.html file. Let's go ahead and delete that by typing rm space index.html. Hit enter. Now if we type ls again, we don't see any files within this directory. Let's go ahead and create a PHP file now. We will type vim space index.php. Hit enter. Now type i to insert text. And now we'll open and close greater than and less than signs. Let's go ahead and type HTML within those greater than and less than symbols. Let's go ahead and close it by adding a forward slash HTML greater than and less than symbols again. And then let's create the body, same format, open and close greater than or less than symbols, and then forward slash body, open and close greater than symbols. Within the body tag, we'll go ahead and execute PHP code. The way we do that is open a less than symbol, add a question mark, and then type PHP, hit enter a few times, add another question mark, and then add a greater than symbol. Okay, so now we have our PHP ready to go. Let's go ahead and test PHP as working by typing echo, open and close parentheses, and then we'll type hello world. Make sure you add a semicolon at the end. If you don't, it's gonna cause a syntax error and your program will not run. So let's go ahead and hit escape, add a colon, and then W. This is how we save a file within Vim. Now let's minimize this terminal and then let's refresh this page. As you can see, we have hello world. Now let's go ahead and call the Python program using PHP. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal again. Let's go ahead and exit out of this file by typing colon Q and hit enter. We're going to go ahead and create a Python file now. We'll type vim space hello dot py. Hit enter. Now hit I to insert text. We're going to add something special to this file. Let me show you and then I'll explain. So we'll add a pound symbol, an exclamation point, forward slash user, forward slash bin, forward slash python 3 and hit enter a few times. So what is this doing? This is allowing us to call our Python 3 application within our program and it allows us to run Python 3 without explicitly calling Python. I'll show you when we call our Python program in PHP. So now let's go ahead and create our main function. We'll say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore double equals add quotations underscore underscore main underscore underscore add a colon at the end and then let's type print open and close parentheses and quotations and type hello world I am a Python program push escape colon WQ hit enter now let's call our Python program in our index.php file so we'll say vim index.php hit enter 
Now, instead of this echo hello world, let's go ahead and delete this by typing DD. That will delete that line of our code. Hit I to insert text. Hit enter a few times. Let's add some spaces and we'll define a variable. When we define a variable, we want to add a dollar sign in front of the variable name. So this is just special syntax that PHP requires. So we'll add dollar sign python underscore script equals and then we'll call the special function shell underscore exec or shell execution open and close parentheses and in those parentheses let's open and close quotations in those quotations we need to specify our python version so python 3 space and then the name of our python file we named it hello.py and let's add a semicolon at the end. Now let's display the results of our Python program. We'll say echo space and then our variable name. Let's hit escape colon W and hit enter. Now let's minimize this console and let's go ahead and refresh the page. As you can see, we have hello, I am a Python program. Now, what if we didn't want to explicitly call Python 3 in our PHP script? Well, let me show you what we can do to remedy this. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal again. Let's go to where we called our Python program. Push I to insert text. And let's delete the Python 3, add period forward slash, and hit escape colon W Q. Now we can modify the hello.py file to be executable. The way we can do that is by typing chmod plus x space and then the name of our Python file. Hit enter. Now if we go back to our program and refresh our web page, it still executes our hello.py file. So this is how you would call a Python program using PHP. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you all for watching. I invite you to subscribe and I hope to see you next time.